Um, I think my love of nature and of wildlife and of learning other cultures really inspired this book. And because I had the relationship with uh, Ray Lavalley for many years and, and he always uh, trusted me with his stories and with his information and allowed me to help work with him on other projects. It just seemed a natural to, to work with, with Ray. I had been collaborating with Ray for, for quite a while and there were just so many stories. But when we decided to finally, you know, d do one, pick one, he, he didn't hesitate at all. It was the buffalo. It had to be the buffalo because they were the main reason that the Plains people were able to survive. Well, I think there's many layers to the book, and so I think it appeals to a lot of different age levels of, of children, and I think not only will they get something from learning the facts about the buffalo and, and what they were able to provide for people to survive, but they'll also get to know some facts about the buffalo, but they see the illust illustrations and how um, the people, their people used to live before, and uh, I think the, the illustrations were just so important to the, to the book as well. As soon as she mentioned, mentioned honoring the, the buffalo, um, it, it already had my heart involved and I probably sold more bison paintings um, than anything so it was already something I would love to do anyway. My process is I have a portable easel and it's very lightweight, it almost looks like a laptop and it, it has my palette in there and when you flip it open it can hold a canvas board like one of these behind me. Pot, I'll hike out into a coulee or along the river which is something I love just to hear water running while I'm painting and so I'll, nature firsthand is my inspiration. I'll um, paint a study outdoors, bring that study in, um, indoors into my studio, combine that with imagination and a little bit of photography and that's how I come up with a final piece. I really enjoyed working with Judith. She's a great writer, and what she did with um, Elder Ray's um, stories is I'm really grateful to be a part of this. I, I'd have to say the one with the grandfather and the silhouettes of the grandfather sitting on a hillside is probably my favorite one, and it's, it's a very sentimental piece. It's probably one of the final moments I had with my own grandfather before his passing when I was about 11 years old. So I mean like that, that was like my world leaving me at that time it was very vital and so that's the whole process an artist puts his heart into his work and, and, and I'm glad that this work is published now and it's a book.